A very good morning to all present, especially to all the conference delegates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, please accord me the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Nora Azira and I shall be your master of ceremony for this international conference. Welcome everyone. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good morning to all. Selamat datang and thank you for joining the 12th World Class Sustainable Cities International Conference 2021. In short, WCSC 2021. WCSC 2021 is entitled Low Carbon Society from Blueprint to Implementation is co-organized by the Real Estate Housing Developers Association, BEDA, Malaysian Institute of Planners, MIP, and Malaysian Institute of Architects, PAM, supported and endorsed by Dewan Bandaraya Kuala Lumpur and University Malaya. To grace the event, let us begin by reciting the doa. Al Fatiha, Alhamdulillahi Wa salatu wa salam Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ya Karim, Ya Waddud, indeed we gather today to express our gratitude for your priceless grace. May us, your servants, who are always grateful for the favors given to us. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, you bless the journey of the World Class Sustainable Cities Conference 2021 ceremony today. Indeed, we expect blessings from you. So bless our gathering. Grant us the bounty of your mercy. Shine our hearts with your lights and guidance. Hopefully, with it, we can easily accept and appreciate and practice it. Ya Zal Jalali wa Ikram. Grant us health, intelligence of mind, peace of mind, and strength of spirits. Hopefully, with this, we will able face the challenges be competitive and able to rise the dignity of our fam ourself, family, society, and the country. Rabbana atina fiduna sanata wa fil ahiyati hasanata wa kina azabana wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Amin ya rabbil alameen. Thank you, Encik Zaki, for the doa. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be five sessions for the two days conference, which we will bring to all of you four keynote speakers, six paper presentations from international and Malaysia with three panel discussions that will be moderated by the president of MIP, Veda and Pam. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, now, I would like to introduce the organizing chairman of WCSC 2021, Mr. Lee Henrik, to deliver the welcoming remarks. Please welcome our chairman. Selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera diucapkan kepada Yang Berhormat Datuk Seri Dr. Shahidan Kasim, Menteri Wilayah Persekutuan, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Seri Haji Mahadi, Datuk Bandar Kuala Lumpur, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sulaiman Muhammad, Pengarah Eksekutif Perancangan di DBKL, Yang Berbahagia Datin Town Planner Haja Noraida Saludin, President Malaysian Institute of Planners atau dikenali sebagai MIP, Yang berbahagia, Datin Town Planner Haja Mazrina Abdul Khalid, Knight President MIP. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Arkitek Izumi Harzani, 
Presiden Pertubuhan Arkitek Malaysia atau dikenali sebagai PAM, yang berusaha Arkitek Abu Zarim Abu Bakar, Timbalan Presiden PAM, yang berbahagia Datuk Engineer Som Heng Chun, Presiden Real Estate Housing Developers Association atau dikenali sebagai REDA, dan yang berusaha Encik Chan Kin Ming, Pengurusi REDA Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur. Para hadirin sekalian, selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera. Bagi pihak penganjur, kami ingin mengucapkan terima kasih ke atas kehadiran tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian. Oleh kerana ada kehadiran peserta dan tetamu dari luar negara, izinkan saya meneruskan ucapan saya dalam bahasa Inggeris. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, a very good morning to all of you and a big welcome to the 12th World Class Sustainable Cities International Conference. My sincere thanks and appreciation goes out to DBKL, the City Hall of Kuala Lumpur, for supporting and endorsing WCSC yet again, and to RIDA, MIP, and PAM for being the joint organizers of this event. I would also like to thank University Malaya for being a strategic partner and for providing us the technical support that has enabled this virtual conference. I'm proud to announce that we've surpassed all expectations with more than 1,000 participants registered for this year's conference and many more in the overflow live stream of this event right now on YouTube. If you have friends, colleagues, and associates who did not manage to register for the conference, you can find the live stream of the event by searching WCSE Space 2021 on YouTube or head to our website, uh, wcsekl.com to find the live video tab on the top navigation bar of our homepage. And with that out of the way, it is my privilege today to represent the organizing committee in delivering my opening remarks and in welcoming all of you to WCSE 2021. In our 13 years of history, this is actually the first time that we are bringing this conference to you live virtually, and this was made possible with the support of our partners and sponsors who have graciously thrown their support behind us in realizing the success of today's events. I would like to take this opportunity to especially thank all of them for their faith in us and for their commitment to WCSC and our efforts in advancing our progress as a city. 13 years and a global pandemic later, we find ourselves here once again, looking ahead with a renewed sense of urgency. If there was one thing we learned from this pandemic, it's that the world is changing fast. And as the nation's capital, Kuala Lumpur has to take the lead to make the change for the future sustainability of our country and its resources. This year's theme of low carbon society from blueprint to implementation highlights just that, the commitment and effort from DBKL and all its stakeholders in achieving this collective agenda. Since the KL Low Carbon Society Blueprint was launched by DBKL four years ago, we have seen a reduction in carbon emissions in the city by 54%, and we are well on track to hit our target of 70% by 2030. Credit where it's due to DBKL and Dato Banda for this encouraging achievement, but there is still more to do and even more to look forward to. WCSC has also played its part in this endeavor by providing a platform to exchange ideas, to dialogue, to study, and to network with world-leading experts in their respective fields so that Kuala Lumpur may learn from the best practices all across the world. We're not just an organization that is all talk and no action, as exemplified in the successful implementation of the River of Life that was inspired by lessons learned from the Cheong Chong River in Seoul in WCSE 2009, and the implementation of the pedestrian walkway network in KL City Centre that was inspired by lessons learned from Hong Kong and Copenhagen uh, in WCSE 2010 and 2011, as well as the implementation of the KL Heritage Walk and public arts in the city that was inspired by WCSE 2013's theme on creative and competitive cities. And really, these are just three of the many success cases that we've seen over the last 13 years. And this just goes to show how much we can achieve as a city when local government and the private sector comes together to work towards a common goal. As for WCSE 2021, I'm extremely proud of the feat that was achieved by our committee this year, especially when this two days power pack conference was planned and executed in the midst of all the uncertainties caused by the pandemic. 
and the countless numbers of drop Zoom calls and a lot of time spent making sure we can even hear or see each other in our virtual meetings. I'm not going to lie, it's been a long journey leading up to today's conference, but nothing good comes easy. And boy, do we have some really amazing speakers lined up for you this year. We are proud to host internationally renowned speakers such as Mr. David Sim, who is author of Soft City, Building Density for Everyday Life, and who is the former creative director of Gal Architects. Speaking of Gal Architects, we also have Mr. Esben Neander Christensen from Gal Copenhagen, Mr. Andy Bo from Foster and Partners, Ms. Carly Gilbert Patrick from the United Nations Environmental Program, Dr. Isa Tobing, Secretary General of CityNet, and Mr. Richard Hassel, Founding Director of WOHA. And of course, a Kuala Lumpur International Conference wouldn't be complete without featuring our very own local talents and experts. And I, for one, am excited to hear from our own KL Mayor, Datuk Siri Haji Mahadi. We also have Datuk Siri Engineer Dr. Zaini Ujang from the Ministry of Environment and Water, Professor Datuk Engineer Dr. Muhammad Hamdi, Vice Chancellor of University Malaya, and finally, Architect Serena Hijaz from Hijaz Architects and Planners, all joining us today. I hope that by the end of these two days, you'll be left feeling inspired, educated, and empowered to make a change in whatever capacity you can. After all, the path to sustainability starts first in our very own homes. Let us lend our strength and support to our government and local authorities in making sure that Kuala Lumpur is on track in becoming a world-class city. And finally, on the short housekeeping announcements, this year's conference program books should have been sent out to your registered email addresses, but if not, you can find and download it from our website at wcscl.com under the program page on our site. That is all from me today. Have a good conference ahead. And on behalf of the WCSC 2021 Organizing Committee, thank you for joining us this year. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Lee Henry, for the welcoming speech. Today, it is an absolute privilege to have our guest of honor, the Minister of Federal Territories, Yang Bohomad Datuk Sri Dr. Shahidan Kasim, to deliver his speech and officiate the 12 World Class Sustainable Cities International Conference. Please welcome Yang Bohomad Datuk Sri Dr. Shahidan Kasim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yang berhormat ahli-ahli Parlimen Kuala Lumpur, yang berbahagia Datuk Seri Town Planner Haji Mahdi bin Cheknga, Datuk Bandar Kuala Lumpur, yang berusaha Encik Lee Hanrik, pengusi jatuhan kuasa penganjur persidangan World Class Sustainable Cities to 2021, yang berusaha Encik Cham Kim Ming, pengusi Persatuan Pemaju Perumahan dan Hartanah Kuala Lumpur yang berbahagia Datin Town Planner Hajah Nuraida Saludin Presiden Pertubuhan Perancang Malaysia yang berbahagia Datuk Arkitek Izumi Harzani Ismail Presiden Pertubuhan Arkitek Malaysia Ketua-Ketua Jabatan Dewan Bandar Raya Kuala Lumpur Penceramah-penceramah yang dihormati Datuk-Datuk, Datin-Datin, para hadirin yang saya hormati sekalian Syukur kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala kerana dengan limpah kurnianya kita dapat berkumpul secara maya di persidangan World Class Sustainable Cities yang ke-12 ini. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada pengusi dan jatuhan kuasa penganjur kerana sudi menjemput saya untuk memberi ucap tama seterusnya meresmikan persidangan ini. Sebagai Menteri Wilayah Persekutuan, saya akan terus memberi sokongan penuh dalam usaha mencapai bandar mampan. Izinkan saya untuk meneruskan ucapan ini dalam bahasa Inggeris. Allow me to, ask, to deliver my speech in English. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning to everyone. I'm elated 
to be a part of the World Class Sustainable Cities Conference 2021. In short, WCSC 2021, especially as it is being held virtually for the first time since its inception in 2009. It has been indeed a difficult year for everyone due to global pandemic. I'm sure we are all still in the process to recover, rebuild and resume our life as before. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate organizers for their continuous effort and commitment in organizing WCSC despite the pandemic. This proves the relentless determination of the stakeholders in achieving a world-class sustainable city. In retrospect, COVID-19 has its positive side as more people who were once reluctant to use the virtual platforms are now forced to use them. Through the use of technology, we are now able to reach more audience globally in sharing knowledge and awareness while reducing carbon footprint, a significant progress to achieving a world-class sustainable city. The theme of this year's conference, Low Carbon Society, from blueprint to implementation, is fitting to the current situation as we move forward, shifting our focus from planning and formulating action plans to implement those curated plans into visible actions. According to the United Nations Development Programme, UNDP, carbon emission in Malaysia mainly relate to urban settings such as Kuala Lumpur with electricity and transportation, making up 80% of the total emissions. As such, Kuala Lumpur aims to reduce intensity of GHG emission by 70% in 2030, through the use of 10 action plans, 82 measures, and 245 programs identified. One of which is to pioneer a carbon neutral city in Malaysia by 2050. I'm happy to inform that these initiatives will be further shared by the Mayor of Kuala Lumpur in the afternoon session today. This includes a systematic and interrelated measures for a progressive transformation towards climate neutral urban precinct involving aspects of energy, transportation, waste, green and community. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we recap the 11th WCSC's focus on the replanning for Kuala Lumpur in the next 20 years, we have also witnessed the process and initiative by DBKL to not only undertake a big study but also produce a more stakeholder-friendly Kuala Lumpur Structure Plan 2040. This is done through multiple continuous process of public engagement and feedback exercise to ensure the needs of public are not being overlooked. This is in addition to incorporating the solutions to the challenges highlighted during the previous conference which include transportation, environmental, and housing. Even so, with a diverse stakeholders' involvement, we could have never predicted the challenges resulting from global pandemic. A recent study would show the increase in unemployment rate pre-COVID grew from 3.3% average to 4.7% by July 2020, which is significant increase in anxiety and stress within the society. We hope the Asian plans could also help the community to address and achieve better quality of life, especially in day-to-day -day basis. With the pandemic situation, it has become apparent that blueprint and Asian plans that have been prepared earlier would have to also make room for inevitable and unimaginable circumstances. Changes will be incorporated in addressing the needs to consider additional aspects in achieving sustainable cities within current requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the challenges that the pandemic has brought, it is also crucial for us not to lose track and focus on our long-term and goal for sustainability. The extensive study and process which we have been secondly persevere must not go to waste. Kuala Lumpur has produced blueprints 
towards world-class sustainable city via carbon neutral initiative. This includes not only development plan, but also smart city master plan, low carbon society blueprint and pedestrian and cycling master plan. A low carbon society will not only nurture a collaborative society towards reducing carbon emission, but also promote ecosystem resilience, health and energy security, as well as industrial competitiveness. All of which would be beneficial to the more than 2.6 million people expected to live in Kuala Lumpur by 2050. Ladies and gentlemen, as a benchmarking city to other local cities look up to, there is an intense pressure to not only constantly deliver the expectation of, it, of its stakeholders and residents, but also upholding their status at the nation capitals. In addition, Kuala Lumpur is also committed in supporting to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal, SDG, and the new urban agenda, NOAA, Action Plan, through the development plan, which are the Kuala Lumpur Structure Plan and Kuala Lumpur Local Plan. It is therefore crucial to ensure balance between the needs and the expectation with the SDG and NOAA through a strategic and long-term planning. In conclusion, I hope the participants will be inspired by the good practices shared in these two days and perhaps even contribute new practical ideas to a realizing world-class sustainable city for Kuala Lumpur. I urge for an even stronger and diverse partnership between the local and foreign professionals as we strive together to achieving the NOAA and SDGs. I wish a fruitful deliberation and networking towards a common goal of sustainable future for our city. Allah bless us on our effort and wish Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of Allah, the most righteous, most merciful, I declare the 12 World Class Sustainable Cities Conference officially open. Thank you very much and stay safe. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih. Thank you, Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, we wish to share with everyone the official launching video of the 12th World Class Sustainable Cities International Conference.
And now, we would like to share an interview session between the WCSC 2021 Organizing Chairman, Mr. Lee Henrik, and the Executive Director Planning of Kuala Lumpur City Hall, Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Tan Planner Sulaiman Muhammad. Hi, a big welcome to all of you watching today. My name is Henrik and I'm the Chairman of the World Class Sustainable Cities Conference for 2021, or better known as WCSC for short. This year actually marks the 12th year of the WCSC Conference and it's also the first time that we are bringing this conference to you virtually. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest who will be having a chat with us about the conference. His name is Datuk Sulaiman and he is also the Executive Director of Planning in DBKL which is the Kuala Lumpur City Council. Trained as a professional town planner, he has served in DBKL for 37 years and has been involved and instrumental in the Kuala Lumpur Structure Plan in the years 2000, 2020, and most recently, 2040. He is also responsible for the implementation of the KL Pedestrian and Cycling Master Plan, as well as the KL Local Development Plan. So it's safe to say that he has played a huge part in how the city looks today, and of course, he's also been a close friend and a strong supporter of the conference since the very beginning. Now, without further ado, it brings me great pleasure to introduce Datuk Sulaiman to you. First of all, thank you Datuk for taking time off your schedule to join us today. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you and, Dat and DBKL uh, in its role in supporting us over the last decade. So I hope you don't mind, I'm going to jump straight into it. And my first question to you Datuk is, why has DBKL chosen to endorse WCSC and work with us over the last 12 years. Thank you, Hendrik, and uh, very good morning to everybody. And uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Uh, for uh, why DBKL choose, as your question, is DBKL choose to endorse the uh, WCSC conference over the past 12 years because of the long-term benefit that will uh, be gained by us and the society now and in future. So uh, in terms of uh, for this team for this year, uh, WCSC is low carbon society from the blueprint to the implementation. It's parallel with the uh, DBKL vision to achieve 70% uh, carbon emission intensity of GDP by 2030. Uh, so the carbon uh, reduction agenda has been uh, the main focus for Kuala Lumpur as one of the action taken to mitigate the climate change impact that we are currently facing now. This conference also acts as a platform of engagement from DBKL to reach out to the public and stakeholder, which is non-governmental organization or NGOs, professional bodies, uh, resident association and others government agencies in Kuala Lumpur. All right, thank you for that. Yeah, so thanks for the, the faith and the confidence in, in uh, the team. Um, I also note that you have been intimately involved in the growth and development of KL since you started your career with DBKL back in 1984. And I think throughout all this time, you've also played a, a significant role working with WCSC since the conference started in 2009. So my next question to you, uh, Dato, is what role has WCSC played in the development of KL over the last decade? Okay, from the uh, WCSC uh, conference and activity, it can be said that the, the expose it brings in terms of the world-class ideas and concepts to our officer in DBKL, is very much helpful in our planning in the city now and then. So in addition of that, to the outcome of the conference and the, the way it was organized for the last past 12 years has been made it easier to gain acceptance and buy-in from the public because WCSC also invite public into the the conference and the mainstream of the of the con conference. 
The tangible result that can be seen include the enhancement of public transport, uh, covered uh, pedestrian walkways yep. and bicycle lanes, community engagement, city beautification such as River of Life, yep. uh, traffic management and car free morning that we did uh, twice a month. Unfortunately, but because of COVID-19, we can't do that now. Community leaders also exposed with the new ideas and concept bring uh, brought, brought by the uh, speakers in the in the conference. As far as I know, uh, we were we are opening the conference not only for those in Kuala Lumpur, uh, but also from everyone who can benefit from from it, and especially during the times due to the COVID nineteen. So the hybrid concept will attract more participants and uh, give them flexibility, time, uh, and opportunity to, to get involved in the conference. All right. Thank you, Dato. Yeah, I also think it's always great to see concepts and ideas turn into reality. And of course, it's always easier said that all credit where it's due to DBKL for actually realizing so many of these ideas and initiatives in the city. And moving on to my final question, um, as you rightly mentioned just now, this year's theme of a uh, low carbon society from blueprint to implementation. Uh, my question is why has DBKL chosen it and what are DBKL's aspirations for Kuala Lumpur moving forward? Wow, this is, this is a very good, very big question to me uh, because of uh, the low carbon is, is everybody uh, should move on it and uh, uh, try to uh, achieve our, our vision. The team is chosen because of we hope that to make known to others the importance of carbon reduction yeah. involving not just action and incentive by the government and NGOs but also from the communities. Uh, communities and, uh, and all the sort of societies. The sub-team also given clear clarification of our intention in choosing the theme such as urban mobility, uh, environment, urban environmental and greenery, and low carbon building. It is in line with the strategic direction of and clear framework for coordinating related policies and programs towards the reduction of carbon emission through the low carbon society blueprint that DBKL has produced. We can optimize the city limit resources, sorry, the city limited resources and eventually achieve the target by 70% reduction of carbon emission intensity of GDP in 2030. We at DBKL shall play a leading role in the process and will ensure that our future generation inherit a place that not only fit for human habitation yeah. uh, habitat, but also condu conducive for future growth and prosperity. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. That will be a, a very good one, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. A big thank you to Dato Sulaiman uh, for joining us. And I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. But don't worry, you can hear more from DBKL at the WCSC conference on the 27th and 28th September. Registrations are open right now and you can log on to www.wcscl.com to sign up for it. Registration is free, but seats are limited, so be sure to reserve yours today. That's all from us, so stay safe and we'll see you at the conference. Thank you to both organizing, or
Chairman Mr. Lee Hanbrek and Yang Berbahagia Datuk Tang Planner Sulaiman. That will be the end of the opening ceremony and launching session for the WCSC 2021. We will be back with our second session of WCSC at 2 in the afternoon, bringing the team on urban mobility. So all participants are advised to be back by 1.50 p.m. using the same link, or you can stay on this webinar platform. Hope to see you all in the next session. Thank you.